to the ongoing war, which claims to have liberated substantial areas to the north and south of the embattled eastern city of Bakhmut in Donetsk region. Now, according to Ukraine's Deputy Defense Minister, 20 square kilometers of the Bakhmut suburbs in the north and south of the city have been freed. But Oleksiy Gorachenko, the Ukrainian MP that we are going to be speaking to earlier as well, had pointed out that the main territory that's been liberated is in fact surrounding Bakhmut and not inside Bakhmut. Uh, now, it's also been acknowledged that Russia is making advances in Bakhmut, bringing in paratroopers and destroying the city with artillery. The Russian side is yet to comment on Bakhmut, but seems like they are occupied with a possible internal rift within the military. The chief of Wagner Group has laid bare the past struggle at the top of Russia's military leadership. Apart from calling Russian commanders stupid and responsible for criminal orders, Perosian even took a veiled aim at Russian president himself, referring to the happy grandfather who thought the war in Ukraine was proceeding smoothly. Listen in to the reactions that have come in. Nobody knew this town, even in Ukraine before. It was not that significant. It's not that big. But how many lo lives were lost? I believe that will come into history books. Because we are 18 times smaller than Russia, we have to find our strength to fight back. We have to fight our soldiers among the civilians. That's what we're doing right now. We're training them. So we don't want to, the enemy know how much reserves we still have. But we have enough. The million people were already trained and went through the war effort, this huge army. All right, and joining me live right now is Ukrainian MP Alexei uh, Goncharenko, who's joining me live from Kiev. Many thanks to you, Alexei, for joining in. Now, the Russian Defense Ministry has debunked claims of Ukraine reclaiming parts of territory in Bakhmut. Will Ukraine be able to substantiate its claims in the coming days? The situation is the next. Ukraine is uh, uh, claiming back and reconquering the territories around Bakhmut. And in Bakhmut itself, Russia is advancing. But still, the small part of Bakhmut is still controlled by Ukraine. But around Bakhmut, Ukraine reconquered during the last days several square miles. Right. Alexei, it's interesting that you clarify the territory that's being reclaimed is around Bakhmut and not so much inside. But when we speak of the defense breakthroughs around Bakhmut, how much of a role has been played by your allies, especially in Europe and the United States? Certainly, we are very thankful for all support Ukraine is receiving, and that is vital for us. And we need this weaponry. But uh, people are fighting. That's about the courage of people. And uh, nobody's fighting for Ukraine, just Ukrainians. So first of all, the, the successes that we have, uh, that is in the hands of our army. But also definitely we, in the weaponry that we are receiving from our allies. And we are very thankful for what we have received and what we hope that we will receive in future. Alexei, the Wagner chief has accused the Russian army of fleeing the battlefield in eastern Ukraine. Is that a factor that's also aiding Ukraine with territorial gains? Yeah, we see the mess inside the Russian army. One group, Wagner group, is attacking another group's uh, Ministry of Defense uh, and official army. And there is a lot of claims in uh, both uh, directions. Uh, and uh, I don't know how they live in one country and how they try to fight together. It's quite hard to imagine. Definitely, it makes them weaker. I will not go inside. Who is running away? Who is better? Who is worse? For us, all of them are occupants. And we are going to kill all of them or to kick them out from our country. Now, many have accused Vladimir Putin of fighting in Bakhmut for the sake of satisfying his own ego. Is there strategic significance to Bakhmut or has this battle become largely symbolic for Russia? Yes, it is more symbolic because no special uh, strategic significance. There is nothing. Uh, uh, that is a town, 70,000 population before invasion. But Russia attacks this town from July of last year. So it soon will be one year that they try to take Bakhmut. And uh, that can be their first success from July of last year. So that's why I think they try 
so hard to, to receive some success. Uh, that's why they are losing thousands and thousands of people near and in Bakhmut. Uh, and that it shows that uh, for Russia, people I mean, mean absolutely nothing. Alexei, how do you weigh in on China's peace mediation prospects? I'm not very optimistic about the Chinese intervention, because if China really wants peace in Ukraine, they can just tell this to Putin and he would need to stop the war. Because in reality, Russia today is China's vassal. Right. In fact, as we speak, the Chinese representative of Eurasian Affairs is visiting Ukraine and will visit Russia too. Will China be able to present a peace solution that also incorporates Ukrainian interests and concerns? Uh, it's very easy to reach the peace. It, Russia needs to leave Ukrainian territory. Everything else, uh, I, I don't know how it will take us to the peace. So I'm not very optimistic about uh, Chinese intervention, but if they want to try, let's give them this possibility. And uh, if they really want uh, to help to achieve peace, they can do it. But I'm uh, quite skeptical about this. All right, Alexei, my last question to you. President Xi's peace plan is one that favors Russia and makes no mention of Russia returning Ukraine's territory. In such a scenario, can China help in restoring Ukrainian integrity at all? Absolutely. How we can achieve the peace? We need to restore international law. It means to restore Ukrainian territorial integrity. Russia uh, acknowledged our borders and now they just need to leave our country and we will have peace. Everything else we can be just at maximum a ceasefire because before Russia will leave our territory, international law will be violated and international order will be violated. That is something which will have very bad consequences for the whole planet.